Welcome to my final predictions for Miss Universe 2023. You may be wondering where my partner is, Leighton. We've decided we are each going to do our own final predictions and we are going to watch each other's video. We have no idea who are in our final predictions. So if you want to see his, check it out. I will put the link below and um, we'll see if we have the same winners. We are gonna go top 20, top 10, top five, top three. Let's dive right into the top 20 with Miss Canada. I am so proud of Canada every single year. I know there's been people who have been critical of me in the past for maybe not including Canada in my final predictions, but I always try to be as unbiased as possible and I was blown away by Miss Canada Madison's performance at the preliminary competition. We know she has had a past performance at an international pageant, top eight at Miss International, so we know she has what it takes to shine among countries from all around the world. Next up, Miss Thailand, another contestant who has done incredible incredibly well. She has won Miss Super National. I have high hopes for Miss Thailand. I hope she rises all the way to the top of the competition and that's why she's in my top 20. Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela wowed so many of us in her performance at the preliminaries. I feel like she did an amazing job and I would love to see her in the semifinals. Another amazing prelim performance, Miss Costa Rica. She blew so many of us away with her fabulous gown, her amazing swim walk, and I would not be surprised to hear her name called on the final night. A major crowd favorite, we have Miss Nepal. Miss Nepal had such an amazing support from the crowd at the preliminary competition. She has a wonderful advocacy, a wonderful platform. I would love to see Miss Nepal in the semifinals on the final night. Next up, Miss Peru. I love Miss Peru. I wish I would have seen more energy from her in the preliminary competition. I was really like waiting for her, rooting for her. And of course she's an amazing contestant. She has an amazing walk. I just would have liked to see more, but still she lands a spot in my top 20. Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil may be young, but she shone so brightly at the preliminary competition. I feel like she had a lot of support, a lot of fans, and I loved her performance. Miss France. Miss France was very high on so many people's lists and they wanted to see more from her. I know it, I've seen the comments. I still have a soft spot for Miss France. I think she'll do amazing in the interviews and I feel like she still has a chance to make it into the top 20, maybe even the top 10. Maybe we could see her rise to the top. Maybe she was just like holding back at the prelims. I hope to see her in the top 20. Miss Mexico. Miss Mexico came out in a beautiful red gown and I feel like she wowed the crowd with her aura. Miss Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic has been a huge crowd favorite, a fan favorite. I have seen her everywhere. Her sultry looks, her confidence, her walk. This girl has got it all and that's why she's in my top 20. Now we have my final 10. So obviously these 10 women are going to be in my top 20. Here we go, entering the top 10 with Miss Nicaragua. Miss Nicaragua was amazing at the prelims. I think so many of us were like, wow, she was incredible. Swim, gown, her looks, her smiles. She was so captivating. She was radiant. I loved her. I know a lot of you loved her as well. There's been some people who have said, what if she doesn't place at all? Well, I hope to see her rise all the way to the top 10, maybe the top five. Maybe she's gonna win the crown, I don't know, but she's in my final 10. Miss Australia. Miss Australia was so amazing at the preliminary competition. I have put her in my top five, out of my top five, in my top five, I don't really know. She is definitely in my top 10. Let me know what you think of Miss Australia in the comments. Miss Pakistan. One of the biggest surprises for me at the preliminary competition, Miss Pakistan blew me away. She was so incredible from the intros to swim to gown. And you know what? I heard that she did her training in the Philippines. So I am not surprised that she learned how to walk on stage so incredibly well. Miss Pakistan, I hope to see you in the top 20, top 10, and maybe even the top five. Next in my top 10, host country, Miss El Salvador. Miss El Salvador really soaked in every single moment in the preliminary competition. She was working the crowd, using their energy to fuel her performance. She was incredible. So many people loved her. I mean, of course it's her country, but I think she really, she really lived up to the expectations that El Salvador had for her in her performance. I thought she was amazing. Next in my top 10, Miss India. Miss India was so incredible in her prelim performance. There were some people who asked, did she do too much? 
I thought she did just enough. She was incredible. She captivated everyone. She was radiant. I know her double turn thing was like a trained move that she had. I thought Miss India was amazing. I would not be surprised to see her rise all the way to the top of the competition. But for me, she's in my top 10 because all these women were so amazing, I couldn't decide. Now we have my final five, starting with one of my personal favorites of the entire competition, Miss Colombia. Miss Colombia was so amazing. I just loved her performance and I have just such a special place for her because she is a mother, she is a wife. I think she is so incredible. And with this, I wanna give a special shout out to Miss Guatemala. Miss Guatemala was another one of my favorites. I would not be surprised to see her in the top 20 but I just, I didn't have room for everyone. So back to Miss Columbia in my top five. Miss Columbia, I hope to see you in the top five, rise to the top. Can you imagine if Miss Columbia won Miss Universe? That would be the first mother, the first wife to ever win. That would be an amazing moment. Next up, USA. Miss USA really served in the prelims. She had obviously very high expectations by so many people because the current Miss Universe being Miss USA. I thought she was wonderful, loved her, her energy. Every photo and video I've seen of her, she looks like so much fun, so nice. I feel like I wanna be friends with her, so I wouldn't be surprised seeing her in the top five. Next up in my final five, Miss Philippines. I love Michelle D's performance, her green dress. I thought she was so radiant. You guys know I've been a fan of her for years, so I really hope to see her in the final five. Next in my final five is Miss South Africa. Miss South Africa's gown, her walk, her look, her interviews that I've seen, she is incredible. So she's in my final five. Last spot in my top five is Miss Puerto Rico. Miss Puerto Rico, incredible, amazing, wonderful. I feel like if you don't have her in your final predictions, like I don't know what you missed at the preliminary competition because she was amazing. Now we have my top three. So from that five, I could only pick three. I don't know how I made this decision, but starting my final three with USA. I really have this feeling USA is gonna rise to the top. I mean, maybe she's not, maybe she won't even make the semifinals, but I just have this feeling that she is going to be up there right to the very end. I don't know, maybe it's like Miss USA from last year shining still in my vision being the one to take the crown but there's some of you who are saying that usa could win back to back i don't know if it's going to happen but i have her in my final three let me know what you think in the comments the next woman in my top three is miss philippines i'm such a fan of michelle d i can't hide it she is in my final three i know a lot of you feel the same and you know i just i i would love to see her up there the final spot in my top three goes to miss puerto rico I'm gonna say it now, Miss Puerto Rico is my winner of Miss Universe 2023. I just see it, I see it happening. Maybe she's gonna end up not placing at all, who knows? But Miss Puerto Rico is my winner of Miss Universe 2023. I see her with the sash, the crown, I just, I feel it, see it happening. You know, I could be wrong, I've been wrong before, but she is my winner and, um, I'm rushing through this because now I want to watch Leighton's video and see who he picked as his winner and who he picked in his final 20. So let me know what you think in the comments. Please let me know who is your Miss Universe 2023. Maybe you have someone who you're predicting to win, but you have a sentimental favorite. I would love to hear from you. To see Leighton's final 20, make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment, do all the things, and uh, check out Leighton's video and let's see if we have the same winners. See you guys on the final night.